What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Stocks to Watch. And as we had forecasted yesterday, today was a stock-specific day, uh, meaning that the indices were uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty. You can see on your screen. I mean, Nifty is up, uh, you know, barely five points for the day. Uh, literally traded in a very, very narrow range. So I'll just open up Nifty just to kind of explain what I'm trying to talk about. So uh, this is the entire uh, range of for Nifty uh, for 10th of June, uh, and uh, you can see, uh, sorry, for 11th of June. And uh, you can see that, uh, you know, we probably traded in this little range for the entire day, which is barely 140, 130 points. And there was absolutely no volatility at all because most of the large caps were kind of consolidating. Similarly, Bank Nifty was just down 75 points for the day. Again, very, very flattish action and more so on the bearish side, which I think uh, if you've been a follower of uh, the Stocks Towards series, you already know why we are not really interested in trading the index right now. And it's all about stock specific action. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing because you're going to get a lot of valuable insights uh, to manage your trading day and to get a lot of research, which could probably aid uh, in getting you better results in your trading. So let's just quickly discuss the stocks that we discussed yesterday and what did they do. So, I mean, uh, SCPL, I'll just, you know, list a bunch of them because a lot of them did really well. So, Sheetal Cool Products, we spoke about this stock up 15%, HG Infra up 15%, uh, BEML Land Assets, another one up 5, uh, 8%, GIC Housing Finance, uh, after the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, uh, declaration in the Modi 3.0 cabinet uh, essentially happened. We saw GIC housing finance move up. We saw Avas Finance here going up. So all housing finance companies uh, kind of did really well. Umang Dairies again did really well. Orion, Donier, Almonds, TCI Express. We, we spoke about this one. I think this one is ready for a move tomorrow as well. So yeah, I mean, a lot of uh, stocks did really good action. Now let's come on to the stock, to, uh, you know, stocks to watch and the stock that I'm going to be looking to buy for tomorrow. So first is HEC Infra Projects. Again, it's a circuit stock locked into an upper circuit. But by chance, if you get an opportunity to buy, this is a very, very, very big base breakout. I think it's going to be really interesting. Another one, another one which is locking into a circuit is GMR Power and Urban Infra, uh, which is also locked into an upper circuit. But the base structure is really nice. Next up, we've got ATAM, which is Atom Valves. Again, a very, very nice base. Recent IPO name. Uh, I think this could be a very, very big move for, for this one. Symphony, another very, very big base, which is probably about to break out of this entire range. So keep a watch out on this one. PEML, so we saw some defense stocks like MTAR and data patterns do really well to, to, towards the end of the day today. So I think we can expect uh, um, you know other uh, defense names to start doing well as well. So BEML uh, in a narrow range, keep this on your watch list. Arvind looks, looks also uh, decent uh, because of the base that it has created. Dom's another one which is creating a base with a volume dry up. So that's exactly what we're looking for. So that's also an interesting one. Prince Pipes, after a really long time, catching up with the Pipes uh, stocks because we've seen Phenolex, we've seen Astral. Uh, we've seen, uh, you know, so many other pipe stocks which have, uh, you know, probably outperformed the entire market. But Prince Pipes has been a laggard uh, due to margin pressure. ITD Cementation, uh, BF Investments, I think one of the favorites from the pack. The only problem is the supply over here. Otherwise, stock is really good. TCI Express, we've already discussed about this stock multiple times. Really, really nice. Uh, we've got Dollar Algotech. Now, if you look at the hourly, I think the base is really nice. Overhead supply is a concern. But uh, with the way mid caps and small caps have been moving, I don't really think this is going to be a problem. Next up, we've got Alican Castelloy. Now, this is also an interesting name, uh, breaking out of a very, very big base. And uh, after a big gap up uh, with a volume decline, uh, the stock is setting up really nicely. If I just apply the 20 EMA, I think everything is set up. Then we've got Alkali Metals, another good base setting up, which is nice. Uh, we've spoken about Strides Pharma in yesterday's episode as well. Uh, about to break out, so keep this on your watch list. A specialty chemical name, Ami Organic, setting up really nicely after a nice little shakeout and a tap into this little area of demand. So I think this is also setting up now. The US Association of Soda Ash has increased prices, which is going to be good for Tata Chemicals, good for SRF, good for Deepak Nitride. So do watch out of, uh, you know, all of these stocks which are going to be dealing in soda ash, even GHCL. So keep a watch out on that. Next up, we've got the Suratwala Buzz Group. Again, a very, very nice, tight little base. Looks really interesting to, uh, you know, trade. Mold Tech is also one name which has created a nice base. I'm interested in this one. Superjit could look to probably consolidate and then continue its move higher. So any kind of a pullback or a consolidation in Superjit could be an opportunity to buy because of the fact that this has broken out of this base. 
and I think there's a lot of room for this one to move. Next up, we've got Zydus Wellness, which is on the verge of a big breakout. So keep this one on your radar. Next up, we've got Ind Nippon, uh, India Nippon Elect. So I think this is also an OEM name, which is setting up really nicely. On the hourly, everything is set. Uh, maybe tomorrow, if it starts moving beyond 700s, I think this is going to be a really interesting name. Oswal Agro, another very nice tight base. Again, this is an illiquid name, so be careful about that. Obero Realty moving towards all-time high, so probably from, from an intraday perspective, this could be interesting. East India Associated Hotels, uh, you know, after a huge cap up, uh, the stock is essentially trying to move out of this base, and uh, this could be really, really interesting because the stock is now trading at an all-time high. So this one is also interesting. Next up, we've got Kildoskar Pneumatic. Uh, you know, after a big move, this has been basing for a decent period of time right now. So, going to be interesting to see on how this one moves. Gravita, after making a long, long, long base, after a big run-up, makes, makes a long base and is now ready to, you know, explode. So, this one is also interesting. LTTS makes a nice base, looks to fill the gap. Interesting one. Spencer's, again, reacting from the order block and then uh, contracting in a narrow range. Orissa Minerals uh, is again an interesting name because of the structure that it has set up. 30-minute VCP uh, near the moving average. I think this is set for a very, very, very big move, uh, Orissa Minerals. And um, I think another one which is uh, probably very, very nice. Chennai Petrochemicals, very nice base. Adani Ports, again, similar action. Sanda. Now, this could be an underdog, meaning that the structure is not really that nice. But I think the potential for this stock to double up probably in the next six months is insane. And motor vehicles uh, business. Another auto OEM name, FEM Industries. Uh, again, breaking out of, you know, base over base over base on uh, towards all-time high. I think this could start moving tomorrow as well. Gokul Agro. Uh, another similar setup for all-time high base. Endurance could look to continue its move up. SJVN is also going to be interesting, although there's too much supply, so I'll probably not be interested. Now, this one is interested. Sangam India is really, really nice. Uh, it's uh, basically trading at this point, narrow range action, near moving averages. I think I'm going to be a buyer in this tomorrow. I think at the open, I really like this. REPL is another, uh, you know, Rudra Bishika Enterprises, uh, near the demand, narrow range contraction. Could start moving. I spoke to you about defense stocks. I think uh, data patterns could be interesting. Anupam Rasayan. Wow. What a nice reaction from this order block. And I think post IPO, this stock has just been hovering up and down, up and down. And I think right now, the narrow range contraction seen in this stock is pretty exciting. So I think uh, Anupam Rasayan and uh, Sangam India, both of them look really, really interesting. Uh, Sriram Finance, also really nice, but the supply is irritating. So I'm just probably going to uh, do it, make it a pass. Uh, then we've got Serla Performance. Uh, this stock was up, uh, you know, half a percent today. But the structure is, again, decent. With the engineering, uh, with the speciality engineering, so again, uh, after a shakeout, could probably start moving higher. Base is good, but it's a Ill little illiquid. Not really a big fan. Uh, Policy Bazaar, uh, it's been consolidating around its IPO pricing. And I think this is a nice five, six days of narrow range action, which could probably translate into a big move and there are speculations that uh, Policy Bazaar could be moving into the futures and options segment so that could be interesting as well. Godrej consumer products from the large cap pack probably the favorite stock. I mean, if you're an FNO trader this is a stock that you can't afford to not trade. Uh, base breakout moving contracting anytime it moves beyond the 1440 range it's a clear buy. Again uh, it's a disclaimer this is not a recommendation but I think Godrej consumer products with the outperformance that it has been showing I think in the FMCG pack, this is probably one of the favorites that you have to trade. Another one is AU Bank. After the shakeout, AU Bank, probably one of the favorites in the banking space, has underperformed a lot, but now has all the potential to fill up this gap and probably move even higher. The earnings were good, guidance was good. J uh, so AU Bank is again good. JB Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals, very, very nice, big base, something like a VST uh, uh, and something like a Godfrey Phillips, what they did, both the tobacco companies. This one also looks really great. PFC again, uh, amidst, uh, you know, all the PSU names has been doing decently. LG Equipment, also similar structure to PFC. And REC, again, uh, you know, similar action because we saw Bale doing really well today as well. So, all of these names are going to be on the watch. The list is enormous. But from these names, I think I've already told you there are uh, Sangam India, Anupam Rasayan looks really good. Policy Bazaar, Godless Consumer, AU Bank, JB Chem Farm, 
So a lot of good names, uh, even BEML looks really nice. So all of these names are going to be the ones which I'm going to be watching out for. So if you like this episode, do drop in your comment and a like and do make sure that you subscribe to the channel. More than 70% of you who watch the video have not subscribed to the channel, which is unfair. So please do make sure to click the subscribe button, hit the like button and drop in a comment. I hope this video helps you out and I wish you all the best for your trading day tomorrow. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye and good night.